I take another example and here I am given the initial value problem. Initial value problems are differential equation plus initial condition. Now my differential equation 1 is of order 1, second is of order 1, so it means the system is of order 2. So we can get two arbitrary constraints. So to solve this or to find this arbitrary constraint, we need two conditions. So number of conditions are same as the order of the differential equation. We are given here initial condition and we are given the differential equation. First we solve it and we get the general solution. After finding the general solution then we use this condition to find the so we have two methods to solve it. We can use the elimination method and we can use the uh, we can eliminate by using Kramer rule. So we, I will use the Kramer rule to eliminate to get the equation for x. So here again as I mentioned that we have to decide we are going to start with x or we are going to start with y. I told you that we look keep in our mind that we have to find we solve only one equation and then making substitution we find, find the solution for the other equation. So we look on the uh, question, the question is dx by dt plus x plus 3y equal to 0 and x plus dy by dt minus y equal to 0. So in those equations, both equations are in such a way, if we find x then we substitute x, uh, dx by dt and x and we get the value of y. Or we find y, uh, y then in the second equation I put the value of y and dy by dt I get the value of x. So they are same. So we can, there is the same level of calculation is required to find the solution. So we are free, first we write the, the matrix form and then we write the equation for x and solve it and put in. So here is the matrix form, we have dx by dt, this is dx plus x plus 3y equal to 0. Then d by dt again I change into d, dy minus y equal to 0. I just simplify this one, I get here d plus 1 into x plus 3y is equal to 0 and I will get here x plus d minus 1 y equal to 0. So my determinant form for a matrix form for this one is a11, a12, a21, a22 and here I get here xy and my right hand side is 0, 0. So it is very simple for me. I use the Kramer rule to find x. I get here the coefficient matrix d plus 1. 3, 1, d minus 1 and I am having here x plus I get here 0, 0 and get 3, d minus 1. So when any row or any column of matrix is 0, determinant of that will be equal to 0. So my right hand side is 0, my left hand side I can have here d uh, plus 1 into d minus 1, get minus 3 into x is equal to 0. I simplify this one, I get here d square minus 1 minus 3 into x is equal to 0. So I will get here d square minus 4 into x is equal to 0. This is my equation 3. I want to solve this equation. So to solve this equation we know this with the higher differential equation with the constant coefficient. We use the substitution y is x is equal to e to power mt. Then our m to having d square x we get here d2 x by dt square. I will get here d2 x by dt square. This will be equal to m square e to power mt. I will get here characteristic equations. Uh, characteristic equation for my differential equation 3. I will get here this is equal to m square minus 4 is equal to 0. I factorize this one to get the value of m. I will get here m minus 2 into m uh, m plus 2 into m minus 2 is equal to 0. I get the two values uh, m is equal to minus 2 and m is equal to 2. So I can get two solutions. This is my x1. My x1 is e to the power minus 2t and my x2 is equal to e to the power 2t. So my solution x is equal to c1 x1 plus c2 x2 because they are linear independent and they are independent we can find linear combination of our solution. So my x comes to be equal to c1 e to the power minus 2t plus c2 e to the power 2t. So this I get here the value of the value of x and uh, now we can find the value of y very easily by making a substitution. This is c1, this c1, this is my equation 4. So I can just uh, uh, take this, this solution and substitute in my equation. This is equation uh, 1, this is my equation 1. I put in 1, my equation 1 is 3y is equal to <coughs> minus d <coughs> dx by dt plus x. So I am having here the value of x. My equation is dx by dt plus x, 3y equal to 0 to find 
here we want to find y we want to find y to find y we use this one so we have the value of x <coughs> we substitute that one we get here 3 3 y is equal to minus dx by dt minus x I will write here 3 y we take here 3 on the other side we get here and we take minus 1 common so we get here y is equal to minus 1 by 3 into dx by dt plus x so my dx by dt I have the values before me this is my x in equation 4 I can get, get right here this is minus 1 by 3 dx by dt that get minus 2 c1 e to power minus 2t plus 2 c2 e to power 2t plus x our x is c1 e to power minus 2t plus c2 e to power 2t we simplify this one we get here y is equal to minus 1 by 3 this minus 2 this 1 we get here plus minus 1 only c1 e to power minus 2t this 2 and this 1 here we can here 3 c2 e to power 2t so this is my equation 5 so equation 4 and equation 5 my solution of the differential equation I say my solution of the, the system of differential equation is my equation 4 equation 5 so I have here x is equal to c1 e to power minus 2t plus c2 e to power 2t and my second equation for y is equal to minus 1 by 3 we have here minus we have taken yeah minus 1 by 3 minus c1 e to power minus 2t and plus 3 3 2 e to power 2t so that's my solution of the problem so that's how we can apply this very simple only the thing is that we make the elimination we get the equation for x or we get the equation for y and then we solve it by using our previous method for solving, solving the uh, system of linear equation and here we have the constant coefficient so it's a more simple we make the substitution e to power mx and we remember that we see roots are repeated roots are not repeated roots are root are complex then we can write our general solution so we want to find this c1 and c2 because we are given here the conditions and we use this one and we want to find the particular solution. this is our general solution so find the particular solution we have in the condition our two conditions are that we having x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 at x equal to 0 we having 3 x equal to 0 we are having here the initial conditions we have x 0 is equal to 3 and we have the value of y 0 y 0 equal to 1 y 0 equal to 1 so we take this set of equations this is 6 and 7 and we put the value of x equal to 0 so x 0 then we get 0 this is equal to 3 is equal to c1 e to power 0 and c2 e to power 0 this is equal to 1 so we get equation c1 plus c2 equal to 3 then we take second equation y 0 is equal to 1 and we put here equal to 0 then we get here plus c1 over 3 and we having a 3 here minus become minus c2 because here 3 is cancelled with 3 and get minus sign so I get the equation here c1 over 3 minus c2 and that is equal to 1 now I just simply solve these two equations we get the general solution we want to find the particular solution initial conditions are given to us we are given here the value of x0 x at t equal to 0 is equal to 3 and y at t equal to 0 is equal to 1 we use this condition to find the value of c1 and c2 we have two uh, unknowns and we have two conditions so we take the equation number four, 6 we take x equal to 0 this equal to 3 we get here e to power c1 plus e to power 0 that is equal to 1 plus c2 e to power 0 that is also equal to 1 so we get the equation c1 plus c2 equal to 3 then the second equation we take a y at 0 is equal to 1 and we take y equal to 0 we get minus minus plus we get c1 upon 3 then we get here 3 is cancelled with 3 get minus sign c2 so we get equation 8 and equation 9 I add equation 8 and uh, plus equation 9 we add them so what we we'll get here we get here uh, c1 plus c1 by 3 is equal to 4 and uh, if we just take this one we get here <coughs> this is 4 c1 by 3 is equal to 4 and we get here 4 c1 equal to 12 and I get here c1 equal to 3 so I get the value of c1 equal to 3 now I substitute in equation 8 in equation 8 we having c1 plus c2 equal to 3 and c1 equal to 3 3 plus c2 equal to 3 and c2 is equal to 0 so my uh, particular solution of my differential equation so you say my particular solution is by substituting the value of 
value of c1 equal to 3 in number 6, we get here x is equal to 3 c1 e to power 2 t and then we put the value of uh, c2 equal to 0 and then we put the value of c2 equal to 0 c1 equal to 3 we get here y equal to e to power 2 t. So, this is my solution of the initial value problem.